His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received today at Gudabia Palace Sri Lanka's Minister of Commerce and Industry, Rashid Badar Al Din. In the attendance of the Industry, Commerce and Tourism Minister, Zayed bin Rashid Al Zayani. His Royal Highness affirmed the Kingdom's keenness, led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, to enhance its relations with neighbouring countries in various fields. His Royal Highness stressed the importance of innovation and creativity in order to support the Kingdom's economic development and noted Bahrain's keen interest to develop its national cadres. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince noted the Kingdom's constant keenness to develop its relations with South Asian countries, hailing the ongoing progress of Bahraini-Sri Lankan relations in various fields. His Royal Highness hailed Sri Lanka's ability to overcome its challenges through benefiting from its national cadres in the fields of industry, commerce and tourism. For his part, the Sri Lankan minister conveyed the greetings of Sri Lankan's president, Maithripala Sarasena, and the Sri Lankan prime minister, Raniel Wickremesinghe, and expressed his thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince for the warm welcome and for his keenness to enhance the Bahraini-Sri Lankan relations in various sectors. He also hailed the fruitful result of visiting the Kingdom through enhancing coordination and cooperation between the two countries in various fields. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, participated in the Foreign Coalition countries fighting the ISIL group meeting in Rome. The Foreign Minister called on increasing efforts to order to combat terrorism and maintain countries' sovereignty and security. He also reaffirmed the Kingdom's supportive stances to all efforts regarding combating the ISIL terrorist group and stressed Bahrain's major role played regarding combating terrorism on both regional and international levels. Foreign Affairs Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa met today with Swedish Foreign Minister Margot Wallström in Rome, Italy, on the sidelines of the foreign coalition countries fighting the ISIL group meeting. The meeting included ways to enhance bilateral relations and common interests between the two countries in order to maintain security and stability in the region. The meeting also included a number of regional and international topics of common concern. Foreign Affairs Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa met today with Belgian counterpart Didier Renedas in Rome, Italy, on the sidelines of the foreign coalition countries fighting the ISIL group meeting. The meeting included ways to enhance bilateral relations and common interests between the two countries in order to maintain security and stability in the region. The meeting also included a number of regional and international topics of common interest. The General Director of Traffic, Sheikh Nasser bin Abdurrahman Al Khalifa, announced that the point system will be enforced on all Bahrain's driving licenses from February 8th. The penalty points for driving offences means repeat offenders who accumulate enough points will have their license revoked. The Interior Ministry published pamphlets explaining the system, which stipulates that if a violator reaches 20 points during one year, the license will be withdrawn for three months. If it multiplies, the license will be withdrawn for six months, then one year, and finally it will be revoked permanently. Sheikh Nasser bin Abdurrahman said the implementation of the system aims to promote the spirit of responsibility amongst drivers, especially lawbreakers who violate traffic rules intentionally, stressing the importance of the scheme to promote higher safety levels. Traffic authorities said that the new law will empower policemen to crack down on dangerous driving, which is causing carnage on Bahrain's roads. The demerit point system operated in the UK and results in drivers getting points on their licences for offences such as speeding, drunk driving, jumping red lights and being at fault in a traffic accident. Good evening and welcome to the Business News on Bahrain TV. 
The Executive Director of Financial Institutions Supervision at the CBB, Abdurrahman al Bakr, patronized the inauguration of the 12th edition of the Middle East Insurance Forum. al Bakr said the insurance industry in the GCC countries is experiencing an essential transformation point thanks to the huge growth and flourishing potential in the foreseeable future and strength of financial positions and portfolios despite the exceptional global economic conditions. He added that the insurance industry in the GCC states had grown by three folds and uh, between 2016 and 2014, and the insurance installments uh, risen to 22 billion U.S. dollars by the end of 2014, compared with 6.4 billion U.S. dollars in 2006, recording an annual growth rate of 16.8% in the same period.